you can see it, our group of blood, blood fracture, transfusion, allergy, we are looking very easily. And outpatient visit. How the doctor, who is the doctor and how he came to him? Through, by recommendation. Yeah, by recommendation or by through recommendation, very easy to uh, treat because everybody knows what is the treatment or by through the internet. So what are the days? Yeah. So then major diagnosis test he undergone. It is very important for us because before and after most of the cases we are taking the uh, these investigations, blood tests and instrumental analysis uh, investigations like ultrasound, MRI, what you needed, EEG, any instrumental diagnosis for that patient. Of course, most of them coming from the other doctors, uh, maybe from other hospitals to us also, because they have the discharge summary occasionally, VP snow, epicris, yeah, epicrisis. So then we are going, uh, inform some, if there is an information that the the uh, information of the hospitalization and confirmed diagnosis we are looking. Then we are going to the interrogation, means the questioning or the talk, dialogue. So the, what are the complaints? We are starting from the main complaints to the small, smallest com complaints. Ask him the patients and we are look, uh, writing in the case sheet as by the word of the patient, it is very important. I think every doctor know that because it is very important by the words of the do uh, patients. So this is a big case sheet for the <laughs> all the then then we are uh, asking which which medicines he is taking or not, and which medicine is administered, and looking what is the then looking about the general history what happened in his childhood diseases, infectious diseases, internal disease, what occurred, surgeries, trauma, all this, the uh, previous disease we are doing uh, everything, neuropsychiatric disease, seizures, occupational disease, we are going all the previous illness. And then we go to the family history, mother, father, and genealogical tree. This is very important, genealogical tree. Then we are going to the personal history, that is the profession. What is the profession he is now? And which is the profession he was before? Or any professional hazards he going through because somebody was in with uranium, somebody was with uh, uh, in different uh, chemical factories, or somebody have the very difficulty, they are the head of the big business, yeah? So many, what is the profession? and the educational status, social status we are looking, what is the emotional conditions we are looking in the social status also. Uh, we are uh, asking about the dietary condition, hobbies, bad habits, and ladies especially menstrual history. Then we come to the 10 types of, 10 types, that is the uh, unix of Ayurveda. We are seeing about the dusya means the what is the Yes, dusha is the uh, which uh, tissue? You know already seven tissues, rasa, rakta, to the, up to the mind. We are looking which uh, one is had problem. And desha is the bhumi, bhumi is the geographical, where he lives. In Russia, if somebody lives in Moscow and somebody comes from St. Petersburg, yeah? So Moscow, is a Jangila Desha, is a more Russia, Ila, Moscow is situating on the seven uh, hills. Yeah, it is a hill city. Hill means small homes, Halma. Uh, homes, and it is, uh, they have, and if they come from St. Petersburg, yeah, St. Petersburg is very humid and sell a lot of water reservoirs and what marshy place. So, Peterburg is built on the marsh. So many, it is very beautiful city, but it is built on marsh and it's very, uh, the people have so many sinus problems, joint problems like that. And most of the, Russia is a big, big country, 
and it has even Soviet uh, Soviet Union. It was so many other republic like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Somebody lived there in their childhood, and when the Soviet Union is collapsed, somebody come to the Moscow. So we are looking in which place they lived, which is very important. That is the Desha place, and it has one more in in body in which play, in which region he has pain so everything is taking into account into bala means the patient strength and this is the strength of the course of the disease it may be very uh, very aggressive course or very very slow course yeah maybe uh, in russian it is a zlokachestvenny tichenia yeah yeah, how you saying in Bulgarski? I don't know. Same, yeah, yeah. Zlaka chastini tichenia ili taki ili. How is the disease is very strong or not? Yeah. Then is the season. Season which season he is ought to in which season is ill. He came uh, he affected by in, in which season. And maybe is what is the. Uh, disease season that I already written you you see the chaya pragoba prasara that is the I written you what is the uh, uh, increasing increasing in special place spreading this we are considering considering here what is the disease stage of a disease the it is uh, increased in its own uh, place then it is spread to the another place it localized in another place and it manifested and it make different manifestation I told you before that I written there this is the this place we are uh, writing there if it is before Stana Samsraya we uh, writing is as SS in small S S yeah Stana Samsraya localization if in that stage or before that we can cure it most of them we can bring the balance even the manifestation stage also some disease we can bring the balance but it is in beda it is difficult to bring the balance. and this is the uh, what is the age of the patient from uh, infant age adolescent uh, childhood adolescent youth mid age is the uh, old age and deep old age yeah this we are checking and this is the one of the uniqueness of Ayurveda, how we look about the sattva. Sattva is the willpower of the patient. It is good, meat or less. This is the Mendel assessment. There are so many 10 components for Mendel assessment, but we are assessing it and putting it here. For this, for this thing, we, have, we want to take 10 questions and put one tick. And we are thinking about the agni. It is normal, irregular, low, or excessive. Agni is the digestive digestive power, and which uh, reflect other dis bodily tissues also. So there is the we are looking about the appetite, and ruji is the taste. Taste means how he eat with taste or he has no taste. I think I have no. I have, I didn't feel any taste. Uh, this is the taste how much water he take and which is the taste and temperament preference temperature preference sorry temperature preference taste how is the which taste he like it is we can uh, have a, a inference on his dosha and his disease also if he takes sweet taste more he can problem on the kapha problem if he take very sour taste he can have the allergies, skin diseases, joint problems. So, which uh, food is he accustomed is very important question. And we uh, also take the food. And his sadhma, Sa sadhma is also very important. What is adaptation? So, in uh, Russia, some people is adapted to some food, and uh, they are coming from another region. Yeah, they are starting to eat the food locally available. So it is also very important which is the which place geographically and which things he is adopted, adapted. 
then we are looking to the uh, food, breakfast, then looking to the stool, then looking to the urinary problem. We say so, uh, looking about the uh, voice of the patient. It is very important also to occasionally to uh, to noise constitution and even some difficult uh, in disease condition there are uh, some special voice also Ayurveda say it, voice can be and we are looking about the uh, this uh, sleep how he gets sleep how he the quality uh, how he getting sleep how he sleep well or disturbed how he see the uh, uh, dreams. Dreams, so there are some interpretation of dreams. It is not mystical, scientific interpretation of dreams in Ayurveda. And we look how he uh, awakening. Awakening, I think about uh, about 30 percent of the my clients are very difficult awakening because they take more food in the evening or they have severe stress or their sleep is disturbed. And the arousal is uh, one, one of the main symptoms of the health. We are looking at the arousal of the patient. And then we are looking to the, this is the, these are the srodas. Srodas, I told you the channels. There are 14 channels. We are looking, these channels, this is the prana vaha. Prana is the breath. There are, everybody, it has its own, this is the base, mula means the base of the uh, prana srodas. You see S1 and S4 is the hridaya. Take both things, which is the which is the srodas and is the which is the hridaya is the hurt. Hurt is the base of oxygenation. This is the oxygenation. Oxygenation, oxygenation channel. Hurt is the base and the first blood is also the base and by this there are so many symptoms by vitiating or by deranging these sorodas these channels these are very important for an ayurvedic doctor to correct the channels because because there are special symptoms are written in the science and we are looking which pro uh, which uh, organ is affected. This is hridaya, heart, this is the arteries, this is the uh, both these things, the tonsils and the thyroid gland, uh, stomach, this is the pancreas, the, this is the whole arteries, the, the main eight, uh, ten arteries. There are the liver, spleen, ligaments, uh, this is the skin, kidney, adipose tissue, this is the internal fat, this is the our uh, buttocks area, lumbar and buttocks area, this is the joint, uh, this is the bones, this is the joints, this is the uh, um, this is a concept about the scrotum, but means the, the spermogenesis and ovogenesis. This is the uh, gentle organs. That's the uterus, maybe the male organs, and uh, uh, connected systems. This is the urinary bladder. This is the area, all the uh, lesser pelvis. This is the uh, colon, this is the rectum and the blood, uh, this is the uh, skin, hair, hair follicles. All these are the bases of this. So again goes through the case sheet, we are looking at the anthropometry, height and weight, is uh, asthenic, hypersthenic or normasthenic we are looking. We are looking at the facial expression, eye color, and vision also. Tongue, there are tongue examination especially. And throat, nasal, 
uh, we are looking at the body temperature, approximate temperature, skin color, skin pigmentation. Here is the pulse diagnosis. Usually the patients saying us all the disease and we can, some patients not saying some diseases and some play things that we can know through the pulse diagnosis. Some people are saying, but some people are not saying. Then we are looking into the all the peripheral lymph nodes, vertebral colon completely ex examines, then bones, joints, reflexes, and gait examin examination. Then the, the additional that is the respiratory systems by auscultation, cardiovascular system by auscultation by taking the blood pressure, muscle uh, tones of the uh, head, head sounds, clear and rhythmic, and we are fixing all this digestive system. We are palpating the liver, spleen, and the stomach, colon, tender points we are fixing, edemas looking, the bustanac signs looking. Then we are coming to the prakriti, doshavasta, preliminary diagnosis, diagnosis, recommending the investigation, and recommending the treatment, and writing the procedures, medicines, diet and regimen we are advising the patients, and rec uh, then coming to the review. And these are the anthropometric uh, places we are putting, where is the is muscular tension, for the discharge for the masseus, we are giving them to the masseus, which place should be uh, give more more importance during their therapy.